Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide for Alaska, the new area in fishing plants. And this time it's for the unique Chinook Salmon, the biggest fish here in Alaska. So I'm going to show you guys three positions that you can get him. And I'm going to show you guys how you need to throw and what kind of lure you need to use. So first of all, you need to be here at the cabin. Hunter's cabin and in front of the cabin you see a lot of small islands from those islands We are going to fish for the Chinook. So what you need to do is you need to go first to the second island That's over here and that's position number one Okay, this is the position and I need to do like a turn for a moment because my mouse is once again on my second screen. Okay, so the position is over here. So it's, uh, yeah, you need to throw here to the to the woods. Uh, like 40, 40 meters is more than enough. I got my unique here on 32 meters. So uh, the main problem is if you come at 20 meters, uh, you are going to get in shallow water and your crankbait is going to hit the bottom. So that's what you need to do. Just be to get the crankbait in and you are going to get the unique Chinook Salmon. So that's how you need to do it. And now you will see. Yeah, I got even a snack. What the hell? That's the first time that I got a snack here. And it's a good snack, it seems. Yep, that is position number one. Let's go now to position number two. So position number two is on the next island. You always need to jump and you just need to turn around. And I think that this hotspot from position one is in this uh, fishing too. But here, the difference here is that you can get the, the Chinook all the way to here. So this is a position that I think the most people fish. So what you need to do is you just come to the edge here at the island. Then you need to throw here at the rock and you need to do just the same. So here I got my second unique. And by the way, guys, you can get a lot of uniques. So it's uh, I know guys that got four to five uh, unique Chinooks in one day. So that's a uh, really cool fishing. And uh, it's a very fat fish. It's almost the, the size. I think it's the size of the trophy alligator car in Missouri. So it's uh, yeah, a very nice fish and I'm very happy that we got now another big fish. I was hoping for a little bit bigger still because with the test 18.1 that we got now, it's, uh, it's way too big or too high for this kind of fish too. So I was thinking maybe there is a hidden big fish like the uni musky or even the unique uh, alligator gar maybe. You never know in this game. And what I'm doing now is something very stupid because I need to go to the to the next uh, spot that I want to show you guys. And I need to go back to the shore because I cannot run to the water because I don't have my plastic boots on. So you need to run all the way to the end. And for the guys that uh, already saw my video, how to catch the unique uh, coho salmon, it's at the same position. So that's the, the last spot that I'm going to show uh, for you guys, but you need to run all the way to the end of the map here for that. So just run, run and keep running. Okay, we are almost there because I already see the end. So what you need to do is you just need to throw at the same position as the unique coho salmon. So just stand here, just throw to the two trees over here. And you will get the unique Chinook Salmon. To speed again, just to uh, a retrieve. I think for the guys that uh, get to the semi and the finals in the tournaments. Oh, was that a bite? What the hell? I was not expecting that because I'm outside. Uh, I'm now in the dead zone. It was a small bite. I think for the semi and the finals in the tournaments. This is going to be probably the fish that you need to go for. Therefore, I'm showing more than one spot at the moment. Because, uh, yeah, diminishing hot spots in two hours, uh, they are diminishing. And you will feel it if you stay at one position. Okay, for the time frames, guys. Uh, I was checking the time frames of the Uber sheet. And I think sunny 5 to 10 a.m. and partly cloudy 5 to 10 a.m. 
is the best time in my opinion. I tried 6 to 9 p.m. sunny day, but it felt really dead. I didn't even get a trophy. I only got the normal. And most of the time, that's not so good. Because on the crankbait, in the sweet hours, I had right away trophy and uniques. I never got one normal. So I need to go with, with the sunny part, cloudy 5 to 10 a.m. I saw a guy on sunny day getting him on 9.30 so uh, i got my uniques all between 5 and 9 a.m sunny day and it's a very good zone you see the fish striking very hard 150 200 kilograms of fish in your net so if you go for it go for that time zone cloudy i tried 2 p.m to 4 p.m but it was so that yeah it's it's way to that i guess you can get the unique on those time zones but i'm not going to fish in those time zones it's a 100 currency for one day. I just do forward the time and I go to the next day. That is a lot better. Okay, so the setup, guys. The same setup again. And I'm going to show this setup probably in a lot of videos after this one. So the River Tex Zoe is 270. The River Tex Thunder Spin 5500. The heaviest setup. Fluoro 0.6 millimeter. And I'm using the crankbait 3.5 meter 6.0. It's like a drug for the Chinook, the crankbait. Take it from me. So uh, it's the 56G uh, that you need to use. Uh, I think if you use the heaviest uh, weight of a lure. That you always are going to get in. What do I mean with it? For example, the 56G, 6 ohm medium spoon works too. Uh, the bullet spinner, the heaviest one, works too. So if you go very heavy on this fish, because it's a fish that is almost 40 kilograms, you can go with the heaviest setup. And I guess it works all. But I can only confirm the medium spoon that I just set, the bullet spinner, and this uh, crankbait. Now for the net. Two trophies, one unique, uh, 53 gold, and 1,182 experience. So that's a nice farm that you can do here. I'm very happy that uh, we can get a lot of fish in one day, and that we can get a lot of uniques and very big fish in one day. So that makes me happy. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe, please. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Have fun.